I'm just about to transfer the money through to your bank. Yep, right away. Man, you two don't know what the stress of executive decision making is like. Yeah, but I do know what it's like to fly an intergalactic rebel fighter for a meteor storm. You do realise it's not real, don't you, Danny? Yeah, of course, but once Taj makes his millions, he'll be able to get me a real one. Anyway, Taj, what are you getting stressed for? Root boy ringtones are the bomb. Yeah, and your party MP3 mix is hotter than Seymour's chicken curry. <laughs> and these root boy joysticks are off the hook. And they're completely idiot proof. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> well, almost. So when did these babies hit the street? That was Mr. Marshall. He says the factory are going to cancel production of the joysticks unless they're paid immediately. And I'm already behind schedule on my new project. What? A new project? Yeah, but keep it down. Blind, and it's got to be my extreme roller basketball out there. <laughs> As if. Forget about it. It's got to be my your face in the cake birthday portraits. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm bored. I bounced on my trampoline for 20 minutes like you told me, but I ain't getting any bigger. Did I say 20 minutes? Oh, I'm sorry, Omar. I meant 120 minutes. Hey, it is, bro. So, Taj, what is your latest slamming scheme? Well, bizarrely, I've got my mum to thank for this idea. When it comes to TV shopping channels, man, does my mum lose the plot? She's got cosy toe slippers a firmatum exercise ball, a vacuum cleaner for bathroom plug holes. Her and her friends can't get enough of this stuff. So? So, Root Boy are going to sell plug suckers and cosy toe slippers? Oh, wicked. My dad sells loads of that stuff down the market. Wow. Someday we too could own a stool. Not. Root Boy is here to deal with only the sharpest and best. Hats. Sunglasses. Sports bags. Walkmans, phone covers, and pens. Wicked! Well, you ain't got any of them divers' watches with a built in DVD screens, have you? <laughs> See, I know what my public want. Omar, what are you doing? Well, I ain't getting any bigger. I thought Taj was supposed to be making sure you and your brain weren't left alone. No, he'd rather sit in his room with Danny and Seymour, talk, 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 plan, plan, plan. Plan, plan, plan? Really? <laughs> Ricardo, you have no idea what that star in your diary means. No. You drew your first shave? <laughs> no, not this century. Excuse me. I'm waiting for some service. And I'm waiting to be asked up by Will Smith. Life's tough, ain't it? Yeah, but will Will Smith be interested when you're unemployed? Move it! See, I'm moving, Carlton. Woo! I'm so fast, I'm just the blur. Oh, really? And I suppose Miss is moving so far, I can't see her! I think she said she was going to be sick. Maybe it's to remind yourself to get a new girlfriend. No, I don't think so, Tamsin. She's touchy, man. It's only a star in your diary. It's not like you forgot the anniversary of your first date or something. <laughs> yep, wanting it bad. Man, this rude boy's very young. TV channel. Oh, man, how cool is that? It's not a TV channel. It's a website linked to a separate URL with real-time video and audio streaming from a digital camera facility. So, I've hired Gary's Happy Ever After wedding studio. But won't he need it? No, he's taking time off to sort out his divorce. <laughs> so all I need now is a presenter. Intelligent, attractive... Female. Leave it to me. Consider it sorted. What, are you going to look in your little blank book? <laughs> so where are we going to find this female exactly? Exactly here, guys. Intelligent, attractive female. Available to start. Well, I guess one out of three ain't bad. <laughs> 
Don't even think about taking that thought any further, ugly boy, unless you want me to blow your cover to Mum. You'll blow my cover anyway if you appear on the site. With everyone, not just Mum. Huh? I'm rude, boy. You're my sister. If you appear on a site, people put two and two together. And unlike you, make four. Missy, get down here and do this walking up. <laughs> now! Coming! <laughs> Just got to transfer some money from the Rude Boy Capital Investment Bank account. You know, to pay for this and all the other stuff. Like the joysticks. Safe. Safe. Taj! Come in. Come on, lock on procedure. And I don't want any of your hot air unless you're using it to dry these dishes. <laughs> You guys get these flyers out on the streets. I'll meet you at the studio this afternoon. <sighs> want in it bad, clothes, music, accessories. What more could a girl want? A boyfriend who doesn't have the memory of a goldfish. <laughs> <sighs> Great hair, girl. Thanks, babe. But it's nothing more than my public deserve. You and your hair feeling better now, Missy? Uh, a little. Oh, your leg was troubling you, yeah? Uh, more my arm. And my head? Well, whatever bits of you are feeling better, better get back to work before I find a healthier replacement. Wow, I feel great now. You know, it's funny how one minute you can be so ill and the next you're ready to go, sister, go! Ricardo, don't tell me you finally got the hint and brought a present for Tanzin. A nose ring? You got a nose ring? Nah, it's some music. But nice idea. Here, can you play this? I so would have gone with the nose ring. <laughs> after you, Mr. TV producer. No, 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 after you, Mr. TV director. Oh, you're looking good, curry. Sha, 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 sha. Danny, you give me any more lip, and they'll be able to fit what's left of you in a box this big. <laughs> hey, Danny. Hi, Seymour. Hi, Tamsin. Hi, Hi, Tamsin. Look, Tamsin, babe, I was only fooling earlier on. Look. I know today's a very special anniversary. Was it really a year ago they released you into the world? <laughs> it's the anniversary of our first date. And from now on, the anniversary of our last one. Hey, Townsend, look. You know I understand my girl. I don't know what she likes. Oh, man, I can't stand this band. <laughs> and the music's nang. It's a real turn-off, isn't it? I'm sorry, you were saying? And to think... <laughs> There's a whole box set of that rubbish. So, uh, when are the auditions? You won't get anything out of us, Missy. It was just that Carisha was asking me. Three o'clock, guys, photographic studios. <laughs> oh, Ma. I think I was safer to play in traffic than in my bedroom. The vampire pillars are just about to destroy the earth. Oh, get over it. Oh. Where was I? The bank account. See you later, Taj. Yeah, and make sure it's a busy road. <laughs> what do you mean, invalid password? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Danny, Taj said the face of Rude Boy has to be classic. Like a raspberry creme brulee. Not a strawberry lolly that's half melted. Seymour, you know I love it when you talk about food, but right now, we've got babes to cost. Exactly. They should be a goddess. They should be... <sighs> this lovely lady here. Ah, she'll be the raspberry pudding then. <sighs> Did you see the way she smiled at me? Do you think I stand a chance with that? That angel? Only in your red son. She was just turning on the old charm to get at your fit, mate. <laughs> Hello? You're through to Mr. Show Business. Mr. Show Business, you're through. Taj. Lock up and go home. What? What's the problem? The problem is, Omar's changed the password on the Rude Boy bank account, and he can't remember what he's changed it to. What, is that bad? He could say that. Oh, it's over. There's no way I can bankroll any Rude Boy operations as of ten minutes ago. And I can't even connect to the studio pictures on the website. Hold up. <laughs> Mr Marshall, I was just about to call you. 
the uh, computers at my bank have crashed. <laughs> yeah, I understand your factory can't wait forever. Hello? Hello? What about that divine beauty? Yeah, all those babes. We've got to think of something. Man, the whole joystick deal's about to fall through if I can't transfer the money. You must be able to get Omar to remember. Hold on, hold on. I've got an idea, right? I that when you're about to die, your whole life flashes in front of you. Great. I'll just dangle him over a pit of crocodile, shall I? Yeah, well, my uncle's got a mate, right, that knows a skis that can get a crocodile for 40 bills easy. Right. And you've already paid for the studios, so let me and Danny run things around here until you're free. Oh, respect, Seymour. You know, I thought nothing would cheer me up. But you two. <laughs> Laters and thanks. What's with the you two ho ho ho? Doesn't reckon we can do it. But he's so wrong. If Taj can't handle the stress of executive decision making, then we're going to have to, right? Ah, this is well sweet. I can get some puck of gear to flog off my uncle. And we've got all them gorgeous girls outside and we've got no money to pay for them. True, Danny. But what we're offering is bigger than mere money. We're creating a star. Like Pop Idol. No, Danny. I said a star. <laughs> and although we're offering a deferred payment... Well, it's more of a no payment, really. What we can offer you is a chance to be a star. You could be the face of one to get bad. Uh, I think we have a channel without a face. I don't suppose you'd be interested in a humble performer whose motto is, the show must go on. You're, You're hired. hired. <laughs> I've got the gig. Great. Clarice. Daniel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clarice, you've got the gig. And you can start tomorrow. Whatever you say, boss. <laughs> boss. <laughs> Daniel. Don't worry, geez. We call partners, ain't we? I'm here. I'm not sure about my final backflip, but I got the rest of the routine down. Where's Taj? Taj? We're in charge, Randy. <laughs> Danny! Yeah, right. You two in charge. Taj wouldn't trust you to look after his hamster. Taj ain't got a hamster. Exactly. Missy, there's no way you're presenting this show. OK. What are you doing? Just calling Taj. OK, OK. You're, you're in. in. Omar, even though this is very, very important to me, you know I'm not going to hurt you. <laughs> I'm just going to help you to reach into the darkest and slightly odd-smelling corners of your mind <laughs> to help you find out what you changed my password to. OK, Torch. So you understand what you have to do. I just want you to give me the first word that comes into your head. Right. Computer. Trainers. Elephant. Trainers. Scotland. Trainers. We've already tried trainers, and that's not the password. Right. Encyclopedia. Cheeseburger. <sighs> Only joking. Trainers. You said you weren't going to hurt me. I lied. <laughs> but I've had my hair done and spent three hours on my makeup. But you're selling false nails, Missy. We only need to see your hands. Wait till you see the stock I've got. Hi, Hi Clarice. Clarice. This is, uh, small. Cosy, isn't it? Major Artistic Director. Hi, Daniel. Yeah, that's him. M-A-D, mad. <laughs> What's with Miss Hairdo? Or should I say Miss Hair Don't? Work experience. Oh, what show-stopping hands. What, these little old things? <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> hey, I like it. No, Missy Carisha. You don't want sick people around your food, do you? I've looked up Missy's symptoms in a medical encyclopedia. Are they serious? They would be, if she was a goat. <laughs> oh, not again. Well... At least someone round here thought the music I bought Tamsin was wicked. All right! What's happening to you, man? It's his favourite. Look, if you're buying the Tamsin, you better think young. You better think fun. Ugh, boy, you better think. <laughs> Come on. Come on. You know what it is, and you're going nowhere until you tell me. But I can't remember, Taj. It's Omar. Your name's Omar. See, you've got me so scared, I've forgotten my own name. <laughs> Why?
B-A-D. No, not bad like my grades. Major Artistic Director. So much for equal partnership. It's just a title, man. <laughs> Ta-da! The Wiggly Tortoise Clock. Is it all like this? No, the rest ain't quite as good. And what is that? It's a combined foot spa and mouse trap. The mice drown. Hey, that's my light. I don't think you want those hands too brightly lit. What do you mean? Glare, stick these works of art underneath a spotlight and they'll look cheap. That's right, there's enough cheap on the channel as it is. <laughs> okay, Omar, we're going to talk through everything you did yesterday. It was just an average sort of day, Taj. Well, not to me it wasn't, but all right. I just want you to take me through step by step and just let me know when you remember my password. Okay. First thing, I got up and went to school. But it was a Saturday. There is no school. OK, the second thing I did was come straight back home. <laughs> and this beautiful collector's timepiece is yours for only £14.99. I get hooked on this stuff. <laughs> Man, the whole Wood Boy Empire is this close to collapse. And what else could go wrong? <laughs> uh, let's sit over here. <laughs> so, uh, what have you two been up to? Nothing. Nothing. Where are you going? I'm fancy a milkshake. Yeah, I fancy a shake. <laughs> what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be working on Omar's memory? Yeah, but I don't know what else to try. Well, you tried to talk him through his day before he changed the password. Why don't you try and walk him through it? Yeah, like a reconstruction of the events on that fateful day. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Check you later. I fancy a shake. Have you seen what they're watching over there? Nice of you to help out. You're watching bad. When I'm not one in this place, alone. <laughs> Take the body to table four. What, with these hands? Missy, table four now! Clarice, it's pretty hot. It's yours for only £14.99. Hey! hey. <laughs> when I said hot, I didn't think. Anyway, what's your problem? Look, you know I think it's hot when you see what I bought you. I'm sure the colours get yourself a bit really classy. I hope so. I can't stand all that cutesy, giddy stuff boys think girls like. All flopsy bunnies and ickle wickle bears. <laughs> <laughs> you seen the chuck they're selling? Oi! What's your problem? And why couldn't have a cute guy presenting, not the airheads and the girls with the ugly hands? <laughs> <coughs> 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 Can you believe it? I order a genuine antique timepiece from this new shopping website, and look what I got! A new website? Look! And it's defective. Oh, that's nasty. You've got to complain about that one. Don't worry, I have. And if I ever get my hands on the crooks that run it... Oh, you go, girl! <laughs> Didn't you recognise Taj's mum's name and address on this order? Oh, you know I'm no good with all that paperwork. But we've only had two buyers! Can you send us some freebies? Yeah, that'll keep us sweet. Guys, your star is so not happy with this lighting. Well, the shadow from that backdrop ain't doing you any favours, girl. Could we get a little help over here? OK, okay Clarice. It's OK, Omar. I want you to show me exactly what you did. Funny. That's what happened last time. But at least I know where the glue is now. Bit more, bit more, bit more. Perfect. <laughs> OK, Emma. You did something you shouldn't have done on my laptop, didn't you? Yep. OK, so what was it? I cheated like vampire poodles, but I did get to level 12. You did something far, far worse than that with my computer, didn't you? Oh, man. I put a waffle in the floppy drive. That was you! Yes, uh, no, I mean, uh. Outside and wait. Mr. Marshall, why haven't you got your money? Would you believe that the batteries in the bank's calculators have all run out? <laughs> no. OK, the truth is a ten-year-old boy changed the password on my computer. Like I 
Lipo Summit beauty treatment. <laughs> Checking out the beautiful nails, Adam. Bad. Yeah. Those hands look really familiar. So rough and ugly looking. No wonder they're keeping them in the dark. Carol! Rough? Ugly? It's true. You order something from bad, follow it up with a complaint, and they send you all these freebies. <laughs> We're all doing it. I'll miss you when you're coming back. I'm working so well, the customers are starting to give me tips. OK, laters. So how's your hair fever? Terrible. <laughs> There's no stopping me now with these joysticks. Where did you get them from? You just got to know the right people, bro. I don't suppose you remember the... Do you make my hands look like something out of Monsters Inc? But now all Mum's friends want freebies. You're ruining my brother's business. And more importantly, my share of Rude Boy's profits. Can we get on with this? <laughs> They're headphones. Bite on the way up and suck on the way down. You know, it's been wicked hanging with my big brother. Yeah, and it's been kind of cool. In a weird sort of way, hanging with you. Uh, I think I just remembered the password. You ain't finished your shake, Taj. Yeah, laters, bro. Taj? Hello, Ma. Yes! <laughs> no! I think I'm on pretty safe ground by describing these moose headphones as the last word in audio fashion. <laughs> 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 and I thought it couldn't get any better. What do you mean you were making your own executive decisions? You're just trying to take the load off you, Todd. Oh, well, I'm really grateful. See, now I know who to come to if I ever need a business wrecked, a studio burnt down. And a presenter fry. Maurice weren't that badly hurt. And she didn't even say goodbye. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Marshall. Yeah, I know it's a bit late, but I'm back online now. What? Catching me. Carisha, I haven't heard my favourite tune all day. I'm afraid there's been a little accident, Carlton. <laughs> oh, no! So the factory are going to make the rude boy joysticks, then? Yeah. Mr Marshall said his six-year-old son changed his password once. He understood how stupid I must feel. <laughs> anyway, where was it? And cost of studio, plus cost of repairs to studios. Any more expenses I should know about? There may be some largest delivery bills. <laughs> and they're mostly to your place. What I don't understand is... Besides my mum, who'd be fool enough to buy any of your junk? I can't believe you thought I'd want these. Look, I look really hot on that presenter.